the woman behind the business, Valerie Nair, is the founder and CEO of Nike. Joining us live from Mumbai uh, to talk more about her business as well as uh, the environment, the business environment in India. Valerie, lovely to see you. Thank you very much uh, for joining in. Uh, I want to just uh, put things in context from a supply chain perspective. You know, your business. Uh, you know, being in the thick of things from that side. Um, what sort of fallout have you witnessed uh, in terms of the supply chain disruptions that we are seeing globally? I think we are clearly uh, facing certain supply chain issues coming mainly from China, supplies being impacted. And I think that is uh, holding us uh, uh, back or sometimes we have to take additional stocks uh, assuming that disruptions will be there. Uh, but uh, uh, except for that, I think things have been better this year compared to what one has seen over the last two years. Front, uh, you know, how value accretive do you think these additional offline stores can be at a time when, you know, obviously online uh, buying and online purchasing has, has gained momentum because of the pandemic in terms of just how consumer behavior would shape up in a post-pandemic world henceforth? I think, you know, the stores are definitely, um, you know, just before uh, we hit uh, Omicron threat around uh, last quarter, that is October to December, the physical retail was really back in action and all our stores uh, had large number of footfall sales, everything. And then, of course, Jan, Feb was a little slower because of the Omicron related closures. However, I think um, there, were, it, there were not too many closures, government operated closures, but I think the people were fearful and not stepping out as much. So I think um, last two years have been very impacted by um, COVID and what it does to physical retail. However, we do believe that if you look at the math and the stats, you know, e-commerce penetration is only at 8%, of course, albeit going to go to 24%, but a lot of uh, beauty is sold offline and Nika has become such a big brand that we cannot ignore our offline channel as well as offline consumers. So we want to be where the consumers are and to that extent, there will be greater emphasis on stores. However, I think we'll continue to be dominant e-commerce player. 